how do good people twenty from Caesar graphics welcome to my channel this tutorial is specially for those of you asking me to teach you how to create Christmas card design now the beautiful thing about this tutorial is the combination of using Photoshop and Illustrator to create a pleasing solution sit back relax and enjoy the tutorial All right, so let's create a new document. So I'm going to click on file and I'm going to select new. So I'm going to make this project 800 by 800. Then when we get to Photoshop, we'll use the right frame size for the project. So for now, I'm going to tag this C card. All right, then I'm going to select the create button. All right, so the first thing we need to do is to draw a triangle shape. So I'm going to click and hold down on my rounded rectangle tool here and i'm going to select the star tool then i'm going to draw a shape here like so so i'm going to use the up and down arrow key on my keyboard to take out some of the corners so i'm going to use the down arrow key and i have this triangle shape here so i'm going to move this to the side and i'm going to select the selection tool now and i'm going to scale this down and this should be somewhere here and I'll Push it up and scale it down. And I'm going to make a copy of this. I'll drag and drop here. And this should be bigger, like so. And I'm going to move this down a bit, like so. And I'm going to make a new copy again. So I'm going to, I'm holding down Shift and drag. Then I'm going to hold on Alt to duplicate the subject. Then I'm going to scale this big with Shift and Alt, hold down. And I'm going to move this down here like so all right i'm going to select the objects and i'm going to select this utilize uh, button here then i'm going to click on the unit button here so if you can't find your pathfinder panel simply go to windows and select pathfinder here so i'm going to click on the button now i'm going to select the direct selection tool and i'm going to call the corners all right so i'm going to click on this and drag this down like so and we have this i'm going to select the rounded rectangle tool and just draw a shape here like so all right and i'll make sure this is centralized all right so i'm going to shift select the christmas tree and i'm going to centralize this and i'm going to make this go up a bit and let us zoom in like so now this is good so let me centralize it again uh, this here all right so then i'm going to unite it again by clicking on the button and then we have this so then i'm going to select the pen tool and i'm going to click outside here like so and i'll create a curve here like so all right i'll hit the escape key to break the uh connection between the path and the pen tool and I'm going to use the direct selection tool to just fine tune this. So I'm going to move this out here like so. And I'm going to um, turn off fill. All right. And I'm going to move this here like so. Making a copy of this. So I'm going to right click and select transform and select reflect. And I'm going to make sure that I'm on the vertical um, option here. And let's see the preview. And we have this. So I'm going to select copy, all right, to make a duplicate of the shape. And this should be, oops, this should be here. Push this down a bit. So I'm going to move this down. Like so let's go here. This should go up. Hold, hold down. So I'm holding on hold that I make a copy of this and I'm going to do the same thing here by moving move this up, right. So I'm going to put this in a new layer. So I'll create a new layer and just drag this. So I'll drag it here and uh, I'll move this below the layer of my parts here. So I'm going to the tree layer and I'm going to select all the parts that I just drew and I'll add stroke to them like so this here so this should be here 
push this up here like so. Use the add anchor point for this. I'm gonna click here to add anchor point and I'm gonna click on this and hit the delete key like so. And I'm gonna do the same thing to this side. Select it selection to select the layers again and i'm going to go to um you know let's just reduce this i think that um 13 is too much and i'll go to objects and i'm going to select expand and select the ok button and now i'm going to take away the padlock from the three layer and i'm going to select all the objects so i'm going to click and hold down the shape builder tool and i'm going to select the light paint bucket to here so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to use the left and right key on my keyboard to switch the colors before applying it to the object so i'm going to start with red here so i'm going to click here to make this red and um, for this side i'm going to use yellow for now and um, for this side i'm going to use green and for this side i'll use blue This is good so what i'm going to do now is i'll go to objects and select expand and i'm going to select the ok button on my keyboard then i'm going to delete everything here all right okay we need to ungroup it so i'm going to select it till the ungroup option is grayed out so then i'm going to delete everything here delete this Right. Okay, so this is what we have now, and um, so what I'm going to do now is to just uh, play around with the colors to make it look the way I want it to look. So I'm going to start with this, and I'm going to use yellow here. All right, and. Uh, All right, so the next thing we're doing now is to take this to Photoshop and just make the um, project look like a real card design. So I'm gonna go to Photoshop now and I'm gonna click on file and I'm gonna select new. So for this project, I'm gonna use A6 paper size, okay? And I'll make sure I'm on the portrait option and I'm gonna select the create um, button. All right, so I'm gonna drag my background in. So if you need the exercise file for this tutorial, simply make use of the link in the description section of this video. So I'm going to zoom out and I rotate this and make this be so all right all right then I'll go back to Illustrator okay so the next thing I'm going to do now is to draw a star shape all right so I'm going to draw a shape here so we need to add those corners back okay so to do that so I'm going to use the up key on my keyboard to add more corners like so and i'm going to hold on shift to make sure that i have a straight um, look of my star and i'm going to make this a little bit bigger and i'm going to stop here like so so i'm going to add outline to this so as to be able to see the shape all right so i'm going to select the um, direct selection tool i'm going to zoom in and just make the corners of my star curve like so all right so i'm going to make this curve like so and i think this is good so i'm going to change the color of this i'm going to change the color to this and i, I mean sorry that i'm going to change the fill excuse me to this and i'm going to turn off the outline all right i'm going to select the objects and i'm going to copy that with ctrl c on my keyboard but if you're a mac user you can use command c okay 
then i'll go back to photoshop and i'm going to paste this here and select the ok button all right then i'm going to scale this down like so okay so it's time for us to do the interesting part of this tutorial so what i'm going to do now is to create a group and i'm going to call this shadow all right and i'm going to hold on alt and click on the new layer icon to create a new layer so i'm going to call this shadow it should be shadows all right so i'm going to select okay button and make sure that this is inside the group so the next thing i'm going to do now is to hold on control and click on the thumbnail of the christmas tree and make sure that you are on the shadow group i select layer marks button there so the whole idea is to tell photoshop that any task i apply or anything i apply to this layer here should not go outside of the shape of my christmas tree so then i'm going to zoom in all right and make sure that you are on the shadow um, layer like so go to my brush settings and make sure that transfer is checked my control should be on pen pressure all right then i'm going to increase my brush size i need to zoom out I'll gently apply that here i'll use the lasso tool to just draw a shape here so right and i'm going to do the same thing here now when you're doing this make sure you hold you hold down shift okay because if you don't photoshop will deselect the first marquee that you created and then uh, you know uh, create the new one for you so create a new layer now I'll call this shadow again and this time i'm going to hold on alt and backspace and hit ctrl d or command d on my keyboard to deselect the marquee and i'm going to reduce the opacity of this like so all right i'm going to gently apply that here yeah like so To take it out from here so i'm using the razor tool to take it out from here and so all right so um for this side let's select the brush tool again and just gently apply that here so
this here. So I think this is okay for me. And I'm going to type my text and coming down here. So I use the free transform to scale this big and push down this here. Like this. Alright, and this is what our final project looks like. So this should be here. I'm glad you made it to the end of this tutorial. If you are able to achieve any projects with the help of this tutorial, simply post it on your Instagram page and remember to tag me. My Instagram handle is at Caesar Graphics. And if you have not subscribed, remember to hit the subscribe button and remember to click the post notification bell so you get notified when I post my tutorials. Share, like, and comment on this video. I'll see you again in the next one. Peace.